at first and then my dogs eat raw food, which is wet. Don't yeah. we? We like raw, <laughs> wet fish, won't we? <laughs> but Wait, what? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, when yeah. I what was a kid, when I was a, when I was younger and I would go to bars, particularly I did well in Syracuse and I could do that. I would fucking go to the bar and if, I would hit on the girls. And if they didn't at first, I would lambaste them. So I'd be like, I can't believe you don't think I'm funny. And then uh, after that didn't work because I wasn't funny, then I would go, I can't breathe here. And they'd go, what? And then I would fall down and I'd flop around like a fish. And then the bouncers would come in and they'd <laughs> carry me out. They go. Yeah. Do we need? Do you need? Do you need? Do you need? Do you need a nine one one? Do you need a, a ambulance? Uh, no, sir. I, Just um, water, please. I'm literally. I need somebody to get me this fucking girl's number, and then I'll be fine. Oh, I got it. Ready? Yep. Yeah. Ready. Hold on. Let me get centered as an actor. Find your mark. <clears throat> What's the most you've ever lost on a coin toss? <laughs> Thank you. Well, that, that's perfect. That's perfect. Don't move. What, what's you the don't move? have to do this. Don't move. Oh, yeah. With the fucking air cannon thing. Whatever. That was so thing. fucking yeah. creepy, man. Oh, that was man. such a good movie, man. Very good movie. Love that movie. Horrible. End. That no was the country worst ending to a great movie. That well, ending sucked. No, I it loved it. Awful. Awful. It was you do terrible. With your life? What would what, you want it to be? What do you want him to die? You want him to die? You want what? It just ended. I didn't like how it just ended. It would. I know. I understand that there's. It's the Coen Brothers. What'd you expect? The Coen Brothers. They don't wrap things up well usually. Yeah. I mean, what was I get the, what it. Was I just one? didn't like the ending. Like I didn't in... like the ending to "There Will Be Blood." I was okay. Oh, with I that. love "There Will Be Blood." Oh, now you beat me Again. to both. I was just gonna say, uh, "No Country <laughs> for Old Man" and "There Will Be Blood" are both in my. Uh, top... I love "No Country know, for Old Men." They might be both at the top. It's Cohen, right? It's Cohen, brother. So that, but those guys. Um, I drink your milkshake. Did you guys? I I like the way Cohen's brothers does their shit. I even like their comedies with the fucking big fat guy and George Clooney. The Lady Killers was an underrated movie. I, I very underrated. It. Oh my god, mm. that's some of Tom mm-hmm. Hanks. The Tom Hanks best, and uh, yeah, best performance comedic wise. But that that, that kind of fourth with. <laughs> I fucking love. I love that character. I love oh, I love Clooney. Um, what is it? Oh, brother, where art thou? That was the. Uh, oh, I, I still have yet to see that. I have not seen that. Phenomenal, and I Phenomenal man. That. And and again, That's, Coen Brothers. They hearing. they're always based on. They always pull things from uh, like literature and shit like that. So for them, a lot of it was from Ulysses. So if you ever read the book, which is a fucking, it's bigger than War and Peace. Um, it's just it's, it, the the shit that uh, uh, who's the who's the uh, the guy that's in Roseanne. Tom, Tom Arnold. Tom Arnold, not Tom Arnold, the other one. Uh, <laughs> John Good. John Goodman. John Goodman. That he he's basically every line in John Goodman from Old Brother Where Arthur is from that fucking book, and because oh, he he's he play he's basically pulling what the main character in that I think said in Latin <laughs> and he's saying it in English and George Clooney's playing this fucking uh, uh, bumble <laughs> fuck you know somebody just like Juggy and he doesn't understand anything he just fucking mumble in his mouth. For my money though. Um, from the Coen brothers, the Fargo series, the second season was fucking amazing before it jumped the shark. Mm. It was really good because basically they have these gangsters that are fucking quoting, um, uh, Alice in Wonderland. And, uh, the one dude does a Jabberwocky speech. And, and, and if you've ever read Alice in Wonderland, it's very trippy Stancil, do mushrooms and we should do mushrooms together. And we should read Alice in Wonderland to a camera and see what happens. I like that. I love Alice in Wonderland. Now, let me say this. Also, Wizard of Oz is really creepy. That's for gays. Yeah. I'm just speaking yeah. my truth here. Let me say this. Let me, uh, excuse me. I'm a supporter. I'll Quiet on the set. Yes, sir. Quiet on the set. Yes, sir. I'll be playing the part of Anton Sugar in the film No Country for Old Men. <clears throat> Yes, you did. You've been putting up with it your whole life. You just didn't know it. You know what date is on this coin? No. 1958. It's been traveling 22 years to get here. And now it's here. And it's either heads or tails. And you have to say it. Call it. Thank you. Can you, uh, can you, uh, I submit that to the Academy. I submit it to the Academy. 
thank you. In advance. Can you quote me a line from the room right now? Because I'm not saying you look like anybody. Never seen that. it. That movie. But <laughs> never seen it. Uh, I did see the room. Wait, that was, no, but seriously, I, I, I haven't it. seen it. What year? What year? Because I want to watch it. But there's like five of the rooms when I go to pull it up. Ninety. Ninety four. Oh, maybe? that one. Would you agree with that, Ashley? Not the, is that the right one. room. Not here. Let me see. I'll tell you in a second. There, there's the room and room. I'm talking about the one right. with the, the guy, the, the fucking cold so, classic. That one, right? The cold classic. Yeah. Let's see. That the a room. room in from the 90s. It's I'm, I'm going to tell you right now. Hang on. The room. OK. Let's see what we're here. Um, oh, what the fuck is this hornet? 2003, <laughs> 2003, the room. All right, I'll watch it. You should, well, it, you're not gonna like it. E yeah, you have to understand. I'm not gonna it's like it. It's only good if you write. We should do a mystery science theater with that shit for real. We should. I'm coming back know, to town when I, I get back to town. Clockwork Orange last week. Yeah, but Clockwork love, Orange is a good movie. Kubrick one, it's a good movie. Mm -hmm. It's a good. That movie. was a great movie, and I didn't. I thought I actually thought it was going to be more gory than it was. Just hearing about it all these years, um, it wasn't as fucked up as I thought it would. It was better. It was better than I thought. I thought it was going to be like more fucked up, but it was actually better than I thought it was. No, I, not I, that I, I mind fucked up shit, but I was expecting it to be like like rec room for a dream type shit. So you've taken you've taken you've taken psychedelics before, yeah? Did you find uh, sure? Did you find Clockwork Orange to have sort of some of that feel around it when it when it was when you when you were watching it, or did you just think it was just kind of a? Uh, oh yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, that, like that's kind of what I, I was trying to figure out actually while I was watching it. Like, if the sets were actually a reflection of the like decor at that time, or if they just went way over the top with all that furniture to like, you know, prove, you know, to bring the story along. You know what I mean? Just yeah. like over the top. Like she had like, what did they have in their mom's house? They all had like blue hair and they like checkered like houndstooth couches and shit like that. You know, it's, it's like London, shit that was so. way out there. Um, so no, I don't but it, it's such a, it's such a, a good book. Like I, I read a lot of this shit. I, I, uh, I used to read a lot before I gave up on life. But um, me too. That was. Uh, <laughs> by the way, I don't know if you saw that fucking photo that just came out, that but we need to capture that and we need to put that. Like that should be your fucking uh, new stencil uh, profile picture because it's. Pretty, pretty. What what photo? <laughs> what photo? You just puff smoke, dude. You couldn't see it because there's blood in your eyes from coughing so bad. Uh, but you just puff smoke so hard into the fucking camera. It was hilarious, dude. It looked really good, actually. It, does, it looked really cool. It was really cool. Honestly, it, it, when you release this, we're going to have to figure that out. But um, hmm. all right. Crying. That's how good of an actor I am. Gentlemen, all right. lady. I do have to head out. Uh, you're, you're heading out, Juggy? Yeah, I got to get back to these, I mean, get back to these dogs. Yeah. All right, go take care of everybody. I was having fun talking. All right, to you, Ashley, Victor. I miss you love guys. You. Juggy, Always I'll good to see you, soon. Ashley. I, I miss know. no one. Yeah, this was fun. It was good to see you. How's yeah. it? Um, yeah. All right, have a good night, everybody. Count me into that mystery science theater stuff there, Vic. I want to. I'd like do to do something like that. Guys.